Hi guys, here with my KS16X and a new package that just arrived from New Zealand from Ro NZ or like uh, they like to stress down there Ro dot N Z. Seems like everyone in the world likes to pronounce Z with a, like a Z for some reason. I just don't get it. <laughs> anyway, this is a bodyguard made for the 16X and I'm sure some of you guys know they've been making these for various King Song wheels. I don't know why they don't make them for any of the Gatway wheels. Probably because they, they're only a distributor for uh, King Song wheels down under. But um, I wanted this because the the 16X, these, these pads, I almost wonder why they even bother putting them on. They're, they're super thin, maybe an eighth of an inch, barely soft. The, these parts are harder and, and these have <laughs> just a little bit of um, softness to them, but essentially no pads. So when I'm riding up in the mountains, and trying to leverage the wheel to go up steep hills. You know, my legs are slipping all over the place. And uh, I can't get the power pads from uh, Matthias, EUC guy. He doesn't, he doesn't do anything for King Song, only Gatway wheels. <laughs> so, so anyway, um, Kevin, who owns, runs Roll.NZ, NZ, uh, <laughs> he said, hey, you know, these actually have some good, good, um, good resistance, allow you to kind of actually squeeze the wheel more to get some leverage. So I thought, okay, send me some, and uh, I will give it a shot and see, see how they are. Otherwise, I don't really don't care too much if my, if my wheels get scratched up. You know, I'm a user, <laughs> not a collector. So I don't really care too much if, if my wheels get banged up. But since I do have this, I probably will go, I'm going to keep it on the wheel because I do I anticipate using this a lot in the mountains and uh, trail riding the mountains. You pretty much you drop. You, it's hard not to drop your wheel periodically. So we'll see how that holds up. So it's the first time I've uh, seen one of these in person, though I've been reading about them online. Uh, oop, let's see. Let's see. Getting some. Uh, Uh, sticker. Everyone has stickers now. <laughs> and okay, a red valve cap. That's interesting, I guess. To uh, <laughs> it's, it's kind of interesting, I guess, to put on the valve ca cap instead of the black one that's on here. Put a little red one to match to match the red. That's funny. And uh, I guess this is just some scraps to show the material. Uh, let me zoom in the camera here, give you a closer look. Okay, so this is uh, so I'm an American, I speak Imperial, not metric, so I'm going to call this three, three sixteenths inch thick, the total package. And um, tells me there's three layers essentially and the inside layer is this nylon to slip over this. It's basically like a neoprene for a wetsuit type material. Uh, it feels very tough. And uh, 
So I'm not a I'm not a, a a seamstress, as they would say, someone that sews. But my wife is. She's a very um, very, very meticulous. So I've over the years I've I've gotten to uh, appreciate stitching. And uh, I must say, this looks beautiful. They've really been putting some. Uh, I mean, this is really a high. This really strikes you as high quality. Everything is uh, originally. I think they were cutting them maybe with the scissors or exacto knife something. But everything is laser cut now, and uh, as you can imagine, it, it it looks like it. So uh, hopefully this shows up in the video, and I'll show you a few more close-up shots. It does really look absolutely top-notch quality. Now these aren't cheap, but um, you know you're, you're pretty much paying for a, a something that's you know low volume production, right? And which costs money. And um, anyway, I think you're going to get your money's worth out of this if you buy one. So let me uh, put this on. Now he did provide a PDF. I don't know if eventually they'll be providing a printed version in the box. And I looked at it a little. It's not like there's super complex to put this on. Let's see, clearly the round hole is for the front, the headlamp. I know I'm going to have to take this off the stand here pretty soon, but. Uh, Oh, it's a tight fit, which I think is what you want in this case. I tell you, everything about this it really does exude quality. He's even got, even got the. What is that hole for? Uh, actually, I guess for the the power button. I'm not sure why. Why you would need a hole there for that, but. Okay. All right. Take this off the stand to finish it. Well, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it this way. I don't want to get my hands down here while it's running. This bottom pocket fits underneath the shell, and apparently uh, this is a Kevlar-type material. So even though it looks like just a fabric, it, it should hold up well to the abuse that's going to get down here. Kevin is probably yelling at me right now. No, do it this way, do it this way.
This is a tight fit for sure. Yeah, it doesn't feel like there's going to be a lot more, uh, a lot more for the legs to press on, but we shall see. I think maybe this is the part actually. This is a black, yeah, I mean, that's it because this definitely, this is grippy. I guess what I was thinking was it was going to be softer, but that's not really the case. It's too, not too much give here, but, but, but this part is really grippy. So it doesn't cover this part of the LEDs. It's only it's only at the top part. And uh, yeah, guys, this really exudes quality. I can't, I can't uh, stress that enough. Uh, again, these aren't cheap, and you, you maybe get a little sticker shock when you look at the prices which I'll let you do, because I can't remember exactly how much these are, but I, th I think they're American dollars, 80 plus dollars, something like that. But um, it feels like it feels like it's worth that kind of money. So I will be reporting more on this. Let me uh, get on the ground and show you another view. Okay, pretty happy with how it fits. By its very nature, this stuff is stretchy, so uh, you kind of have to pull and push and tug and get it to fit more or less correct. So I'm pretty happy with how, it, how, it's, uh, how it's fitting. Uh, here's the side. I'm gonna to have to wait till another day to test this, and I will be taking this back up to the mountains, so I'll, I'll get a good sense of how uh, how this is, these pieces are gonna help me grab the wheel. But but uh, I can already tell that, that I think they're gonna work. So I have high hopes. And here's the front. Get to the ports as needed. Very cool. Let me uh, let me show it to you outside. Okay, here it is in the sun. So these apparently these come in different colors, but I picked the red and the black. Some of you guys might recall I have painted a couple of my wheels red. My M103 and my. KS 18XL I painted red. I do think that's kind of a cool color. So, uh, looks cool. Looking forward to uh, trying. By the way, I just did a little riding in the driveway here and I could definitely feel my, my um, pants were gripping this much better than the smooth um, pads that come on the on uh, the basic shell, so. But more to, more to follow on that when I take it up into the mountains next time. I'll give this a true, a true test. Anyway, that's it. There'll be a link down below if you want to uh, check these out. I have no affiliation with uh, Kevin or Ro.NZ, <laughs> but I do like what he's doing and uh, wish him the best, so. Uh, Check them out if you're interested. And again, I think these are available for other wheels too, other King Song wheels.
All right, and I will ride off into the sunset. <laughs>